This is Jepson. It's a, a harness for writing distributed systems tests. And in Jepson, we surround a distributed system and all of its nodes and its networks and processes and operating systems. We bundle all that up and we say, at the boundary between the clients and the system, what invariants hold? For a queue, for example, you should be able to write things to a queue and get them back out later. That's a simple invariant that applies to the system as a whole. So to test this, we're going to run a bunch of clients, typically in one process, so we can see what each client does and when. We'll have the clients interact with the database, typically five or seven nodes connected by a network. But we have no visibility into the database itself. And the reason for that is because the database may be written in a language which isn't amenable to static analysis or proof. It might be written in a style, a concurrency uh, uh, framework which isn't amenable to testing. Or it may not have the source at all. So we want to be able to test these systems opaquely. Can we look just at the reads and writes, just at the external operations, and tell if it's safe? What we're going to do is generate randomized operations, like write the number three. We'll apply it to the system and see how it returns. And it might come back in one of three ways. It could succeed, it could definitely fail, and we know it didn't happen, or it could time out or crash. And in that case, we'll log an informational message, and we'll keep the invocation open for all time, because that operation might take place later. It could be stuck in the network, it could be stuck on disk. So over time, we'll build up a concurrent history of clients performing different types of operations, reads and writes, NQs and DQs, transactions in its SQL system. And we'll try to analyze this data structure, this history, to tell us, does it obey the invariants, the laws, which we care about? So our general strategy is to generate randomized operations, record a history of those operations as applied to the distributed system, and then verify that that history is consistent with some abstract model of the system. So does this big, complicated database behave like a linearizable key value store, or behave like an eventually consistent queue? While this is going on, we're going to introduce faults, like network partitions. We're going to sneak into their houses at night and change their clocks around. We're going to scribble on their calendars so they go to the wrong child's PTA meeting. And we'll see if those changes, those errors, introduce invariant violations.